Need a ride? With the click of a button, TaxiCab app connects you with licensed taxis to get you where you're going quickly and safely. Unlike some of the other guys, we know our TaxiCab drivers meet high standards, including insurance, training, and background checks. And for drivers, getting started is easy. They have to come into our office in person to provide their name, address, phone number, birth date, and social security number. We also get proof of their commercial liability policy, medallion or permit, driver's license, inspection check, and taxi cab permit or chauffeur's license. As you know, to get this permit, drivers have to pass a federal background check, drug test, defensive driving course, and points of interest test. And they must be in full compliance with local laws governing taxi cab drivers. Once we approve them at our office, we will issue them a personal taxi cab app ID number and they can go to our website or download the app for free on iTunes and Google Play using their own smartphones. To get the app, the drivers fill out a simple form with their driver's license number, PIN number, and their medallion number. Once they've set up their account, they are ready to start picking up fares. When using the app, their screen will show their GPS location on a map. TaxiCab app is looking for the closest job available. Now, let's look at a basic transaction. Anyone with a smartphone can start using TaxiCab app by downloading the app for free on iTunes and Google Play. When a passenger signs up, TaxiCab app saves their information, including their email, password, phone number, credit card info, and address. Passengers can rest assured knowing that we keep their credit card info safe and secure using Chase Payment Tech Vault services. Once the passenger has agreed to the terms and conditions and downloaded TaxiCab app, they can sign in easily using a secure password. When the app opens up, it shows the passenger's GPS location on a map. TaxiCab app uses Closest Vehicle Dispatch to connect drivers with passengers. This means less wait time for passengers and less deadheads for drivers. It also means that the actions are directly between the drivers and the passengers. But TaxiCab app offers back-end access to allow authorized persons to monitor all activities, including but not limited to credit card transactions. And we'll share more information on that later. Passengers have a few options when e-hailing a cab. They can choose to get a ride in the future by entering the time and date when they'd like to be picked up, or they can click Now to e-hail a cab immediately. Once they do this, the driver receives a push notification that there's a job available. It comes with the exact GPS location, address, and distance, and the most efficient route from the driver to the passenger, even considering current traffic conditions. The driver can navigate the map and review available routes. He has 30 seconds to accept or reject the order request. If no action is taken or the order is rejected, it will automatically be offered to the next closest driver. To accept the order, the driver simply clicks the Accept button. Once the driver accepts the order, the passenger receives a message that reads, Order Accepted, along with the driver's name, taxi number, distance away, and estimated time of arrival. The passenger can also easily cancel the order if they need to within seven minutes. After seven minutes, a cancellation fee may apply. And while they're waiting for the taxi, they can use their phones as they would normally. When the driver is at the destination, they click the Arrived button. And even though the passenger can see the taxi's exact location while he's en route, the passenger will also receive a push notification letting them know when their driver's waiting outside. The passenger has seven minutes to get to the taxi after the Arrived message has been sent before the fare is canceled. When the passenger gets in the cab, the driver clicks the pick up button and turns on the meter. And the ride begins. At any point, passengers can rate and comment on their rides. At the end of the trip, the driver will turn off the meter as they always do and click the complete ride button. Then the driver fills in the fare amount as it reads on the meter and confirms by pressing OK. The passenger will then receive a message with the total amount due with tipping options. The passenger confirms the total payment and the transaction is handled by J.P. Morgan Chase Bank. When the transaction is complete, the driver receives a confirmation. The passenger receives a receipt sent to the email address that they gave when they opened the account and can get one printed from the meter too. All payment transactions are made by ADP and drivers get paid two times a week, either automatically to their checking accounts or with prepaid Visa cards provided by ADP, their choice. And it's as simple as that. TaxiCab app is easy and it saves time and money. We want to grow our network, so when drivers and passengers sign up, we're ready to shower them with gifts. We'll be rolling out loyalty and incentive programs. 
We're also going to be rolling out some added features like a 24-7 hotline support button and an I lost something button and options for multiple credit cards on file. So stay tuned. TaxiCab app is launching in major cities across the U.S. and we're coming to a town near you. Be part of the team and let's unveil the next generation of taxis together.